Benny time, baby. Benny here, GhostPicksATS.com, the number one sports consultant in the business. Saturday, May 9th, it's Benny time, it's UFC time, it's UFC 249 time, it's live sports time, it's time! Grab your beers, grab your buddies, order your pizza and wings, let's get ready to watch some grown men and women look to pulverize each other in the octagon tonight! Blood, sweat, and tears. It's the humdinger, the crown jewel, the cock of the walk, the feather in the cap, the penny in the loafer, the cat's meow, the cat's pajamas, the bee's knees, the murder hornet's mandible. Yeah! The glitter and gold, the death grip, the colossus of clout, the main event, the sultan of swat, the sultan of swat, the sultan of swat, the knockout punch. We're going to lay the hammer down on him, Benny. Boom. I even put on my... My Saturday best. I got out of my quarantine outfit and I put on my Saturday best. B-E-N-N-Y. We're going to lay the hammer down on them. Grab your Benny UFC and let's go. If you're new to my page, welcome. My name is Ghost Picks Benny and we're looking to have some fun tonight, folks. Looking to have some fun, make some wagers and bring home the bacon. All right. Red panty night. It's going to be red panty night. We're going to make it rain. The package is 30 bucks. It's in the description of this video. My picks are ready, locked and loaded, and ready to go. You just click the link, sign up, I'll get the invoice, and I'll reach out to you personally, and we'll get ready to rock out. Big shouts to everybody already rocking with me tonight. All right? It's a little bit overwhelming. It's been a long time. A month and we're over, what, two months? No sport? That's a long time. It's a little overwhelming. Getting a lot of flow going on. You get what I'm saying? Pressure is on. The suspense is building. I'm getting those jitters. I'm getting those pre-game jitters. It's like those jitters I get before the red alert. You know what I'm saying? That's how I feel right now. I have a lot riding on this vent. I have a I'm, I'm betting a substantial amount of money on these fights. Cause it's been a long time. Just how I feel, you know, and I have a bunch of clients rocking with me. I'm looking to deliver. I'm looking for all of us to capitalize tonight. My last UFC event went very, very well. It was a 4-0 sweep. Room was in the building. It was a great night. And there's nothing better than sweeping for the clients. There's nothing better than being able to deliver for the clients and put money in all of our pockets. You get what I'm saying? So, uh... Yeah, so I actually think it might have been 4-0-1 on that card. But the point being, we won four, we lost zero, all money in, no money out. As my man Bo Dunn says, big shouts to Bo Dunn. The UFC event before that, we went 3-1. and Back-to-back -back events, we really balled out on the UFC. Then the coronavirus quarantine lockdown happened right? And I had no sports to cap. I had no sports to bet. They scheduled a Cage Warriors event in there somewhere, you know, which we did it. We did it. It didn't go well. And then shortly after even Cage Warriors was shut down and, you know, kind of bummed me out because I wanted redemption in Cage Warriors. I'm going to get redemption in Cage Warriors. Trust and believe that. But hey, Dana White's been working hard. UFC has been working very hard to bring us fights, to bring us sports. And with that, UFC 249 is tonight. Tony Ferguson versus Gagey after another failed attempt to get Ferguson versus Khabib uh, in the octagon. But the winner of this fight likely going to take on Khabib. Okay? This, is, this event is stacked from top to bottom. Early prelims start at 6.30 p.m. Eastern time. Prelims start at 8 p.m. Eastern time. Then we have the main card. Ferguson versus Gagey. Henry Cejudo versus Dominic Cruz should be very exciting. One of the fights that I'm most looking forward to as a fight fan. Then we have um, Nganu versus Rosenstrike. Uh, Jeremy Stevens taking on Calvin Cater. Greg Hardy rounding out the main card fighting to Castro. And just for everyone to know, you know, four fights, four fights off of the main card are on my card in some way, okay? So we are betting four of the five Cards on the main card. Fights on the main card, excuse me. So, then we have the preliminary card. Uriah Hall versus Jakari Sousa. Cancelled. Jakari Sousa uh, test positive for coronavirus. So, I didn't have that fight on my card, but no joke. I was going to put it up here on YouTube and talk about it. I really felt like Uriah Hall had good value as a dog. Good price on uh, Uriah Hall. I felt like Uriah Hall would have been a nice underdog pick. 
Uh, we're going to make a bet on another underdog here, though, in a second. We have Luque versus uh, Nico Price. Also one of the fights I'm really looking forward to as a fan. And like I said the other day, Nico Price doesn't really know how to be in a boring fight. It ought, it ought to be fun to watch. Following that up with the ladies, Carla Esparza versus Michelle Watterson. The Cookie Monster versus the Karate Hottie. All right, and some folks are saying this might be the most boring fight on the card. I've heard that a couple times. I've heard that multiple times. Esparza is a favorite in this one. This fight is really expected to go the distance. However, this is where I'm going to bet the dog. This is the play we're going to talk about real quick right here. This fight is not on my card. This is going to be like a free pick, if you want to call it that. I don't know, but I I'm betting it. I'm betting it. Let's put it that, that way. And I think the dog has value here. This is a fight that Watterson has wanted for a little while now. Both of these ladies are in the top 10 in the straw weight. Esparza 7, Watterson 8. Both these ladies in their 30s, pushing mid-30s, you know, in age. So Carla is coming off back-to-back -back wins. Watterson won her last, uh, uh, lost her last fight, excuse me, but then she banged out three wins right before that. So I've seen mixed reviews here. People saying Esparza, people saying Watterson. I'm rocking Watterson. That's my preference. That's who I'm going to bet here. Uh, it really just comes down to the value in the underdog spot here for me. I think it has bear, uh, has potential. And that's going to be my play here, right here on YouTube. So um, anyway, then we have some heavyweights. Olenek and Verdum, the big men, you know, uh, going at it to, uh, for the uh, preliminary fights. Then we have the Cowboy versus Anthony Pettis. Two of the, uh, to top off the preliminary fights, two vets taking the stage yet again. These guys have been around for quite some time. Should be fun to watch. And then the early prelims, we have Ryan Spann versus Sam Alvey, followed by Bryce Mitchell and Charles Rosa. Ch you know, can check those ones out on ESPN. And with that, that's a wrap. That's the card. My event pack is ready. 30 bucks in the description of this video. Looking forward to seeing you cage side. Big shouts to the fellas, Jimmy, Jack, Derek and Bryce, big shouts to the Notorious as well. And let's go. Stay safe, stay healthy, family over everything, wash your hands, wear your mask, all that fun stuff. And as always, good luck, God bless, grind on, baby. Cheers.